Hello, MDU Resources. Are you tired yet? What a day. I've been here all day with you, and I've been bebopping in and out, and I've run into some of you in the bathroom, not you guys. But I have run into some of you in the bathroom, and I've met you when you didn't even know that you were meeting me or I was meeting you, actually. And I've been kind of like a voyeur around the room. And just when I thought I was the director of First Impressions, and I walk in, and I hear these two gentlemen. Now, Tony is one of them in your blue group, one of your blue men group. Uh, and I hear him talking to another gentleman that must have spoke yesterday. And this is what I heard him say to Tony. Well, I wasn't tarred and feathered. And I'm like, yes, tomorrow's going to be a good day. <laughs> <laughs> no one tarred and feathered. So I introduced myself, and Tony introduced himself. And he was so polite and so awesome. And I had listened to them talk a little bit. He didn't know I was there. You see, he could have said anything, like, today stunk. Or I don't think the conference was that great. But they were talking about what a great opportunity it was and what a great conference. And when I came back, I was walking in the building, and there was a gentleman out there, and he said, hi, how are you? How was your evening? I looked at him. I said, great. I said, what about you? Great. And I said, are you with MDU Resources? Yeah, as a matter of fact, I am. And he put his hand out, and he's back there. Hi, Gary. Gary, is it Dent? Zent. I'm pretty close, huh? That's not bad. Gary Zent, who's the superintendent in Dickinson. Do you know Gary? You should get to know him. He's a fabulous guy. <laughs> and he talked about that he's been with the company for 32 years. We're standing outside having this conversation for 10 minutes. And we talked about what a great organization MDU Resources is and how privileged he felt to work for the company. Now, at this point, I hadn't told him I was the speaker today. So he could have blown smoke everywhere on me. <laughs> But he didn't. He talked about what a great company this is. I'm like, nice to meet you. And by the way, I'm the speaker tomorrow. Oh, OK. I bet he was happy he said some good things. <laughs> and then this morning, I came down, and I listened to Karen and her comments and how fantastic for a board member to get up and say such great things. I would expect them to. But you could tell that she talked from her heart. And then I sat down when Karen was speaking, and I sat with my new friend, Bruce. Bruce, where are you from, Mobridge? Hey, Bruce, you're in the same spot. <laughs> you like it back there. You know we can text and no one can see back there. That's why. So Bruce is from Mobridge, and he's an awesome man. We talked about fishing and hunting. I'm a pheasant hunter, and I'm, I love fishing. So we talked about that, and he talked about what a great company MDU Resources is to work for. That doesn't happen by accident. You know that, right, Terry? I told Terry during the break that when I speak at different corporate events, this is the new normal. You're not part of the new normal. At conferences now, what they do is they have thousands or hundreds of people in a conference room like this, and instead of the CEO being there, present at the facility, all of a sudden, they have this rock and roll and music come on. Brrr, and these big screens come down. And there's the CEO. And he's sitting behind his desk on a pre-recorded message, telling all the people in the room how much he values them and wishes he could be with them. You're doing a great job. We are great as a team. We have integrity, all the things that Terry talks about and all the things about that MDU resources stand for. I wish I could be there. Gal, it seems like all your leaders are here and you're not. Doesn't that seem a little bit odd? So I just, just a couple observations. You are very fortunate to have such an accessible team. Truly, in the last two years, I have not had the opportunity and privilege to speak to a corporation that really is about its people, its values, and really cares about their family. I've done a lot of research. I do a lot of research on the businesses that I'm privileged to speak to, and I am incredibly impressed. What I'm not impressed with, where's Brian from Portland? Is he here? <laughs> Brian, are you in here? Is he in here? Anyone? 
He's not in here. Well, here's the deal. <laughs> Terry, that boy in the jersey, I think some of you farm boys and gals from here need to tell him what a bushel is. <laughs> If he's building bins to put bushels in, he should know what a bushel is. <laughs> Will you take care of that? <laughs> Super. Don't anyone tell Brian he's going to be in a little trouble. The CEO is going to make a visit. <laughs> I looked down, and at that time, I wasn't doing as much speaking, this kind of speaking, as I was working in corporate America and uh, working with organizations in customer excellence and doing strategic business plans, and not that, that there's not a lot of value in that, there is, but I used to do them, they used to pay a lot of money, and then they would put them on the shelf, and then they'd never open them, and then they'd call me the next year to update it and pay me a lot of money again. And I looked and I said, my goodness, almost half my life is over. What I do with the next half of my life better make a difference. Your legacy is part of building tomorrow, but what is your legacy? So if, if that's when we start thinking about our legacy, and our legacy is what we leave behind, that's what you've been talking actually all about the last two days of what MDU Resources is, but really what it's going to leave behind. And it's going to leave behind great people that are training up these Gen Wire people. That was freaky. <laughs> I have an 18-year-old. Now I know why he doesn't answer my phone calls. I should be texting him more. I was talking about customer excellence and how we treat our customers that they're more than a number on a chart, that they're someone's sisters, brothers, mom or dad or child. And I really brought in the whole customer thing about really getting in touch with your customer and finding out from your customer what they think is important. And it's something that you work at and do all the time. Who in here is a risk taker, an inherent risk taker? Actually, by population, only about 15% of the population are actual risk takers. Do you know that? The rest of us would like to stay in our little box. Choo, 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 choo. Isn't it exhilarating when you're doing something you don't normally do and you really feel like you're living? I love that quote. It says, if you're not living on the edge, you're just taking up space. Taking a risk, there's another quote that I love, and, it's, and my granny loved it. She had it in her room. My great-granny had it in her room. And it said, ships in harbor are safe, but that is not what ships are meant for. And what she was saying is they're meant to get out and get some barnacles. You're meant to get out and get a little bit weathered. You're meant to take a risk. So my granny's words were to have some faith, have some laughter, take a risk, get out of your box, get your ship out to sea. Work with those Gen Wires. Work as a team. Honor those people that are your directors of first impressions. They are one of the cornerstones of your business. When I leave here, I want to be used up. I want to be like that quote. And I hope you want to be like this too. Or when you leave here. The quote from Dorothy Perkins is this, and I'm paraphrasing. But when I leave and I get to my land, and you all know where it is, I don't want to go out going, ta-ta. I want to know that I had family, friends, and lots of laughter. A lot of great faith but I want to go out a hooting and a hollering and a kicking and a screaming. And you know what? If I could, I'd skid this junior plenty size body in. And I want to be able to look up. And I want to say, now that, that, my friends, that was a ride. I wish all of you the ride. Thank you so much. You guys work for a fantastic, fantastic company. I don't say that lightly. I work with companies all over the world. And you have something here that I have not seen in a long, long time.
God bless you all. Have a great rest of your day. Have fun tonight. Thank you.